What's up, people? It's your boy Sly. In this video, I'm going to be addressing a troll. There's this, there's this particular person who leaves comments on my videos, and he likes being very negative. He'll say negative shit most of the time. Um, sometimes when other people leave comments on my videos, he will attack them as well. So I'm going to give him the attention he wants. This guy's name is Mr. X. He made a comment on my video titled um, Cost of Living in the U.S. He made a comment. I'm going to read it. He says, get out of here. So men's alternative is to become nurses to have a better life. Nursing sucks. You know what your problem is, Slide? You're too young and too stupid. You, a, you live in Seattle, one of the liberal shitholes of America. B, you're, you're considering a country that in and of itself is a liberal, socialist, feminist shithole. Canada. Are you fucking kidding me? You're fantasizing about... You're fantasizing also about places you have no fucking means to live in. What in the fuck are you yapping about? You gotta re reveal less about your personal situation. Slide... Because I'm figuring out, you are pretty much fucked. Why don't you be honest and talk about why that is? Then, fess up, bitch, because I'm tired of hearing your whining and bitching, which is a result of bad choices you made or are making. I think... A lot of your bullshit, I think a lot of you bullshit millennials are in the same boat and I have zero empathy because you all voted for Obama or Bernie or Hillary. Let me adjust this stuff real quick. First of all, nursing is a good profession, okay? Nurses get paid about 60 grand a year, usually in your thing starting out. Some places they pay you 70 and a lot of nursing jobs have overtime. So they can easily make over six figures. Easily. Okay? So, some people don't like nursing, but guess what? It's in, it's in high demand. Then, you said Seattle is a liberal shithole. So? Everybody knows that. Canada is a socialist, liberal, feminist shithole. I know that. That ain't no secret. And you're saying about my about my personal situation, I'm revealing myself gradually, or as we implied, but you have to understand something. My situation is the same as most people in America. Um, we pretty much got screwed over by the system. Okay? And the issue is when it comes to the system, it's that you baby boomers, because Mr. X is close to 60, you baby boomers out here, um, you didn't teach the a generation after you how to survive in this complex society, okay? Baby boomers, baby boomers are the ones that cause a lot of these problems because a lot of these motherfuckers did not pass on the knowledge. They didn't pass it on to anybody. They... Pretty much said, if you find a way to make it, make it. And I can say this because you have many people today who are working in these institutions of um, the, the educational system. You have people working in the banking system. And it's like, they don't tell you anything. Oh, you want a loan? Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll give you a loan. You just need A, B, and C. That's all you need. Going to college, you have you have some of these staff who work there who, who, who have pretty much been through what every college student is going through. You know, you're in your 20s. You're trying to find yourself which career can make you a good living. And most of them, they don't tell you anything. They will teach you what, they'll teach you what is in the curriculum. They'll give you some resources you need and that's it. But they don't tell you how the job market works. So by the time you graduate from college 
it's like, oh shit, what I just did is a waste of money and a waste of time. So guess what happens after that? You now have people today who are now going back to college for a second career. You see, if people were given the right information the first time, they wouldn't waste their time bullshit in their twenties. Okay. See back in, I can say back in probably in the like eighties and nineties, a lot of people changed careers in their forties or fifties because they want something new. But now, but nowadays you have people who change careers in their thirties because of the first path they chose was not the right one. And of course people will say, well, you should figure it out for yourself. Yeah, you're right. We should. But the problem is why should we have to figure it out for ourselves? If you have people who have already been through it, do you not see the problem in that statement you just made, sir? So I am one of many people who were pretty much screwed over, but luckily for me, I understand the bullshit and I'm on my way to success. People, the baby boomers, okay, many of these motherfuckers are now in nursing homes and they're going to be, and they're going to stay in nursing homes because you spent your time, you know, not helping out any people, spend your time not helping people and now you'll find yourself in nursing homes. Good luck with that one. So you can say that I'm bitching and whining and I'm not bitching and whining. I'm just pointing out the bullshit. Okay. Then you made another comment that was pretty interesting on my video called MGTOW Importance of Accomplishments. You made a comment that was let me just read it. For fuck's sake, how are you defining accomplishment? I've met many assholes who had what were, according to them, accomplishments. Usually they were boorish braggarts. Who, when you examine what they claim have accomplished, nothing pertinent. Example, look up. Zuckerberg and Bezos accomplished, not really, just a couple of strange assholes who manage, who happen to have billions of dollars. How are you not getting this? Another example, police officer who saved some lives. That's accomplishment. Henry Ford. Yeah, accomplishment. What I believe is you're too wrapped up and motherfuckers who have obtained high paying jobs and called that accomplishment. Anyone can get an engineering degree and quickly work up the quickly work their way up to six figures. Big deal, big fucking deal. Millions of those little nerd assholes running around accomplished. Not at all. Makes sense to you now? Accomplishing in life is not a fucking job or chasing dollar bills or what he has or he who has the most toys wins. That's ignorant and immature. You getting this yet or no? Hence, my tag of idiot. You see, this is where I have to like, give you some little incitement of the word accomplish. You see, accomplishment is pretty much when a person sets personal goals for themselves that is worth attaining. That's accomplishment. Jeff Bezos making Amazon is an accomplishment. Making one of the most biggest online stores in the world, that's a fucking accomplishment because that did not happen overnight. Okay? Mark Zuckerberg making Facebook, that's an accomplishment. As young as he is, he made Facebook into a worldwide platform that most people use. That's an accomplishment. Okay. Because to get to that level of success is not overnight. 
Here you said a police officer saving lives, that's not an accomplishment. A police officer saving lives is not an accomplishment. Okay? A police officer saving lives is pretty much he's just doing his job. Okay? Becoming a police officer is an accomplishment. Do you know what that word means? You're telling me that a police officer is going to wake up one day and say to himself, my, my goal is to save people's lives. No. He's going to save a life if he sees, if he sees one in danger. He's not going to say to himself, I'm going to spend my life trying to save one person's life. No one says that. That makes no sense. Then you, then you say here that Henry Ford accomplishment? How the fuck is Henry Ford an accomplishment? Or how is Henry Ford different from Mark Zuckerberg and Jeff Bezos? How are they different? Here you wrote Henry Ford, yeah, accomplishment. But Jeff Bezos and Zuckerberg not accomplished. How does that even work? Do you not see how I just, do you not see how I just deconstructed your comment here? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I don't even know why, I mean, oh my gosh. You see, I don't, gosh, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what to say anymore. I, don't, I just don't know what to say. Then you made another comment on my other video, which I'm not going to read, on how companies get rid of employees. You pretty much were talking shit, saying that, why am I keep mentioning the low-wage job discussion? That is it a personal issue? Let me tell you something. It's not about the job. It's about the economy. Let me tell you why. Because in certain cities like Seattle, the cost of living is increasing on a daily basis. The cost of living is increasing. And it's not like, it's not like, hey, we're, it's not like we are going to increase your rent by, by a uh, uh, hundred bucks. If they increase your rent by 100 bucks, most people are not going to care. I mean, yeah, they'll be upset, but it's not going to cause that much um, problems in their financial budget. But when you increase the rent by, I don't know, like 400 bucks, that's a problem. That's a problem. You see, a lot of people are doing jobs because they feel it can get them by, which is good. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But the problem is sometimes people have jobs that are not stable, okay? So if you're on a fixed income, but the rent keeps on increasing, you're gonna have to move if it's not within your budget, okay? There was a situation where um, there was one apartment complex. This was in, yeah, in Toronto. This lady was paying 1650 a month. The landlord increased the rent to $950, just like that. So her rent became 2,600 bucks a month, just like that. She couldn't fight it. She tried, it didn't work. So you have to understand, I'm giving people information because a lot of people don't understand how things work. You see, the thing about you, based on what you said in your comments on my other videos, is that you're about, you're close to 60 years old. You are about to retire. So you're pretty much going to move to Asia and chill and relax and have a good retirement. That's cool for you. But guess what? Many people your age, guess what they're doing? They're working. Why are they working in their age? Because many of them have no retirement. They have no savings. So now they have to work in their old age. And guess what happens after that? Many companies aren't paying older workers. After age 45, on average, usually from 50, they're not paying people. They're not hiring them for the good paying jobs. They're not hiring them. If you think I'm bullshitting, go type that shit in. 
Job Seekers After 50. Type that shit in Google if, if you think I'm bullshit about this crap. You see, in your case, you can chill. You can relax and you can say, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my pension, get my retirement, and I can sit and chill and do whatever I want. That's good for you because you manage to do it the right way. Congrats. I will never, I take that away from you. But the fact that many people in your age bracket are still working says something. It says something, doesn't it? If you're, if you want to know about me, I am in my early 30s, okay? Nobody taught me anything about how these things work. I learned on my own. No one told me anything. No one cared to tell me anything. And I'm not mad at nobody. I just say, that's the way the game is played. Because at, at the end of the day, if you don't succeed in this life, nobody gives a fuck. If you're struggling, nobody gives a fuck. In fact, if you are struggling financially, people will not talk to you. If you can't keep a job longer than a couple of years, employers are not going to deal with you. If people have employment gaps, employers tend to overlook their resumes. So there's a lot of stuff going on out here that people don't know about. So you can go to Asia, you can be tired, you can chill and do your thing. Good luck. But to many of us here, we still have to live in this system. We still have to live in this country in the way things are going. And don't worry about me. I'm going to make it. So before you start calling people idiots, why don't you check yourself? Why don't you look at how things really are for other people? See, you're looking at you. You are looking at it from a different perspective of all these young kids. Oh, they're just irresponsible. They're, and it's like, yeah, some people are irresponsible. But when you look at it, when we really look at it, it's getting harder and harder to survive in this country. Because of regardless about how old you are, it doesn't matter. It's so hard to survive in America today. The average person cannot succeed out here. You have to be above average. Because those jobs people have, sometimes some people have good jobs, but the cost of living, but the cost of living keeps on increasing. So before you start talking shit about other people, why don't you why don't you get to see things from a different perspective? Granted, there are some people out there, they fucked up from no personal choices. Yeah, I know. But many people out here, they're just trying to make it out here. So it's hard. But for you to to be talking down about, for you to be talking down on people, calling them idiots and stupid. It makes you look annoying. You can go retire. You can chill. 60, you can you can chill and do whatever you want. Yes, you, you, you're very lucky. Congrats. But stop talking shit if you don't know other people's situations. This is not even about the individual no more. It's about the way society is going. Anyhow, I'm done.